Hello everyone, welcome to part 74 of Laravel 10 series in which we are first dealt with the e-commerce dynamic panel and from this video we will start working on the home page dynamic banners and in this video we are going to create its table and we'll insert some dummy banners. So before start working on the front end, uh, we are required to complete this uh, module, uh, this banner module because here in template uh, you can see the home page banners is the major thing okay this at the first point you can able to see this home page banner home page slider banner and also you can able to see this home page fix banners so we are required to make its module in the end panel so that we can make them dynamic okay so this is the very first thing that we are required to do when we will start working on the front end so it is mandatory to add in the end panel it's uh, module we are going to add in the end panel so that we can start working on the front end and we can able to do the home page okay so here uh, somewhere we are going to add the banner module later on but first of all in this video we are going to add its table with migration and we'll add some dummy banners with the help of cedar okay so the columns uh, we are going to add uh, while creating the uh, its migration file I'm going to tell you the columns that we're going to add as well uh, but uh, first of all we're going to run we're going to create its migration file okay so I'm going to open my project folder Zam as docs and uh, uh, project name is project 10 okay and right click services new terminal folder I'm going to create its migration file php addition make migration and I'm going to name it like create banners table okay table name will be banners and it has been created I'm going to open here I'm going to close the earlier files in the last video we have created the rows and permission so I hope that you have resolved that issue at your end as well okay so now I'm going to op uh, open that create banners table file that we have created with migration okay so now uh, I'm going to add all the required columns. Okay, so first one is the image column. Okay, banner image. That is mandatory column that we require for uh, uh, for adding for the banner. Okay, so image. And the next one is the type. Okay, so we are going to add one more column, and that will act as a type. So in type, uh, we are going to add like uh, it's the slider or it is the fix okay like like if this is the slider banner then we are going to add the type like slider okay if it is the slider banner and if it is the fixed banner then we are going to add the type like fix okay so the type can be more types if you have the more types of banners you want to add if you have some different sections of banners then you can add a number of types that you want okay it's your choice okay so right now we have just two types of banners one is the slider and one is the fix so we will add here just uh, slider or fix okay we can take enum as well but i think uh, string is fine okay so after this we are going to take the link for the banner every banner is having some link maybe uh, so this is not mandatory like if some banner is not having any kind of link but mostly the banner is having some link we want the user clicks on that and we'll go to some specific page okay so after that we are going to add the title so title is not mandatory if you want to add for seo you can add the title and after that you can uh, we are going to add the alt okay alternate text so this is also uh, is optional field uh, you can add for the seo and after that we are going to add the sort okay you can able to sort the banner like uh, which banner you want to show at the first place and which banner you are want to show at the second place so with sort you can able to do that so integer we are going to take for the sort you can sort like you can give the number like one two three four uh, one uh, like the banner with the um, one number will come at the first position banner with the second number will come at the second position like this you can able to sort the banners okay so uh, the last one the status okay you can make the banner status active or inactive anytime you can make the banner status active or inactive okay so this is the last one status okay so image type link title alt sort status 
so i hope that all the columns are clear to you now we are ready to create its uh, table we are going to run the php addition migrate command to create its table so the table has been created and we are going to check now the table has been created or not and here i am going to check the banners table has been created you can able to see the banners table has been created with the, all the required columns okay so now we will also create its uh, banner model that we required from time to time so we are going to create its banner model php artisan make model banner make model banner okay so banner model uh, is it also required for cedar for uh, for inserting the dummy records okay so that's why we have created its banner model straight away so now we are going to create the cedar file okay for inserting the dummy entries dummy ban banners so i'm going to create this cedar file php artisan make cedar and we are going to name it like banners table cedar okay so i'm going to open its cedar file banners table cedar and here in this cedar file i am going to add uh, first i am going to include the model use app models banner ok so here inside this i am going to insert i am going to add the records to insert some dummy banners i am going to name it like banner records array two of the items we will add here we are going to add some slider banners add one type will be slider and image we are going to pick from those slider banners that we are having uh, in the template okay i'm going to uh, have uh, from the template that uh, we have already i think there is uh, side makers uh, no not this one uh, where is the template yeah, here is okay so i'm going to pick uh, from here images banners okay so slider banner these are the slider banners okay uh, we are going to add the slider banners like uh, the first one uh, side maker slider banner one image the same image okay like this and after that link uh, link uh, right now we will not add any link okay we will make it empty and also title uh, we can either give or not give like this banner is later with you can see this is later with t-shirt collection so we are going to give here the t-shirt collection as title okay so after title alt alt also we can give as the t-shirt collection for seo purpose And after alt, we are going to give here this sort. Sort is the that which banner we are going to uh, show at the front uh, at the first banner, okay, uh, one, and then status as active, okay. So now this one another banner two slider and here two we are going to add link and here link uh, I'm going to check the link for the second one woman collection. Uh, okay link is empty but title we are going to give as the woman collection and here t-shirt uh, is instead of t-shirt we are going to add here the woman collection as well sort one and status one sort uh, here this time we are going to place it at the second position we will give the sort as two and status as one once again okay so these two banners we are going to add from cedar and here banner insert this dollar banner records and finally we are ready uh, but we are required to update the database cedar file and here we are going to add uh, the 
uh, here this one disable and here we are going to add banners table header we are going to call the banner table header in this database header so finally we are ready uh, to uh, insert this dummy record with the one more command we are going to run here php artisan db seed php artisan db seed and now see it has been run successfully and we are going to check now the table must have the two records of banners yes we able to insert these two banners record okay we made sign maker header banner 1 sign maker header banner 2 okay with all the required details link we have not added anything but in type we have added the slider title also we have added and alt also we have added sort and status is also coming okay so we have we able to insert the record in two of the banners and in the next video we are going to show uh, these banners here in the admin panel okay so please stay tuned for the next video uh, in which we are going to show the banners with the active and inactive status and also with the delete functionality and after that we are going to uh, work on the add edit banner as well so please stay tuned uh, in the next few videos we are going to finish this e-commerce admin panel then we are going to start working on the front end okay so uh, always join and subscribe the channel to get more laravel updates that's all for now have a nice time goodbye